What's up graphic designers? Today we're going to be using a template to create a student logo, which is going to be an innovative way for you to brand your work featuring a PNG portrait and uh, some text and a font of your choice. And here we've got a very simple but great example. And here's another example that's a little bit more complex because you'll notice that he has um, his arm sort of outstretched from behind this circle and he's experimenting with fonts. You're going to submit multiple versions of your PNG and how exactly do we create this? The first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your PNG itself, uh, the portrait, or you're going to simply make a new selection as I did here. And I'm going to press Command C and I'm going to return to this template and I'm going to press Command V and I can see that it's on top. All right. So what we're going to want to do is have it so that this guy is sort of popping through this uh, this gray circle. How exactly is that going to work? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is drop the opacity to maybe 70%. I'm going to press Command T. I'm going to decrease the size so that the width of my body is just about the size of the diameter of this circle. And so I'm going to zoom in just a tad by pressing Command Plus, and that looks pretty good. And uh, all right, so I'm going to have it about right. I'm going to have it about right there. I like I like that. That's great. I'm going to press V for move tool zero to return it to 100%. Alternatively, we could simply just change that in the uh, layers palette. All right, we're now going to switch to layer two. That's the circle layer. I'm going to use the magic wand, which is underneath the lasso tool. We're going to click in the center, and if we press delete, it's going to delete that gray circle. We certainly do not want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to your um, image, your PNG cutout image. I'm going to press delete. And uh-oh, we don't want to do that either. So I'm going to press command Z to undo that. Now what we're going to do instead is we're going to press command shift I to invert the selection. Okay. And so now if we press delete. All right. We also don't want to do that, right? We want to include the, the top of the head, obviously. So what we're going to do instead of deleting all of the um, elements of this image outside that selection, uh, we're going to use not a sledgehammer, not a sledgehammer, but a scalpel. All right, so instead of using the delete key again, we're going to switch to the eraser tool. So you can simply press E, re, uh, e or select the eraser tool. And obviously, we don't want to uh, delete the head. Instead, what we're going to do is delete everything that's sort of on the bottom side of the body. All right, that looks great. And you're going to want to be thorough. You're going to want to make sure that you don't leave any, like, little specs or flex. All right, that looks great. I'm going to press Command D, and I'm pretty happy with this right here. All right, so we're going to press T for the text tool, and we're going to delete, quote, your name, and we're going to write your actual name. So I'm going to write Mr. Drozd. Um, I can see that it's got a little bit of a layer style in there. I'm going to change this from Arial to I hate Comic Sans, and I do hate Comic Sans. Oh, check this out, guys. I'm going to press Command A, and then uh, there we go. And I'm going to press check to confirm. And that looks great, except a few things, right? If we wanted to sort of rotate this text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the text layer again. I'm going to press the left arrow, the arrow keys. I'm going to go all the way to the very beginning. And I'm going to do space bar, and I'm pressing space bar, space bar. Additionally, some of the text seems a little crammed, particularly in my last name. I'm going to press command A. And uh, we're going to hold option. I'm going to press the right arrow key. All right, and this is something called kerning. All right, that looks great. And I'm actually going to return. Where is the cursor key? All right, I'm going to go back, and I'm actually, this, instead of pressing spacebar, I'm going to press delete. And now all of a sudden, this looks tremendous. Uh, we're going to save this also as a PSD file. And the reason we want to save it as a PSD is because we want to include um, that transparency. Um, in fact, this uh, logo right here, layer four, it's at 47%. Um, that way, your name will be legible on whatever image you copy and paste this uh, logo on. Uh, we're going to go to File, Save As, and um, we're going to do uh, first name, last name, and we're going to save this as PNG. Click Save. You're going to submit it. You're going to come up with a few different uh, layers. I'd be curious if you can pop your PNG cutout into a shape other than a circle. Be creative. Let me know what you produce. Good luck.